everyone. We're ready for art. And we're doing... Oh, sorry about that loud noise. We're doing a really fun project. And this is a project that Audie reminded me of. She was talking about it. And I remembered that I loved to do this so much when I was a kid. So I thought I would share it with you. It's squiggle art. So the first thing you're going to do is use your black marker. And you're going to draw a squiggly line all over your paper. Okay, watch me. I'm going to start here. And your squiggles can go any way you want. And they can go all over your paper. See how? And they can overlap. You want a lot of squiggles here. And then you're going to end up right where you started, okay? So you want to kind of close your squiggly lines. And then, this is a little bit different than what I used to do. I used to just kind of color it all in. And if I were going to do that, you might even want to do some more. You could do another squiggle in so you have smaller sections. So that's kind of fun too. You can add it to your squiggle. So do as many squiggles as you want. Okay, and then the next step of this, after you do your squiggles, so I guess um, the first thing you should do is pause me and do your squiggles, okay? Okay, so if you're back, you should have done your squiggles. Then we're going to use our black marker again to add some designs to these different sections. So for instance, in this one section here, I'm gonna add some dots. Okay, and I'm, oh, it's a big section I picked, so I better. And I'm just going to randomly put my dots in this section. Whatever you choose to do, kind of do it throughout the section. Right, so I'm doing dots here, so I'll do my dots in this whole section. You can do dots. You can get creative as you, as creative as you want. You can do stripes. You can do just doodles. Okay, so there, that section, I did my dots. And then I'm going to pick one. Over here, I'm going to do like, kind of like a doodle, kind of like um, the spines on the back of a dino. Okay, so you can see that. So you're just going to go around and add as many cool um, doodles as you want. It's almost like a, what's called a zen tangle. It's really fun to just add doodles to art. I did some stripes. Whatever you want. You could add curvy lines. You could kind of, I'm going to just kind of like make lines that go in the shape of that. Okay, so you're going to keep going to add as many as you want. It makes it really interesting. The more little doodles and designs you add, the more interesting it becomes. So go ahead, pause me, I'll pause myself, and let's add doodles, and then we'll meet back again. Okay, so I added all my little doodles and details to mine. How's yours looking? I'm really excited to see these. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to color it. You can use colored pencils, you can use crayons, you, you can use markers, you can use both. I'm going to use just a combination of all kinds of coloring materials and just whatever I think would look good, I'm going to use. So for different sections, I might use markers. For some, I might use crayons. Just do different things in different places. And it's just for, it's fun. It's just fun to doodle around and color. What colors do you think you'd like to use? You could use any colors, make it colorful, make it like a rainbow. One of the tricks that I have some of these sections, um, we just want to you know, color them, you do our neatest coloring job. And when I'm doing that, one of the things that I always think about is that the closer I get to the edge, the slower I want to color. So I'm just trying to pick my next color here. So. If I'm coloring this section, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll see how I'm tracing around the black line. I'll do that first and I'll go slow and be real careful as I do that. And I even turn my paper sometimes to make it easier. So then when I color, I don't even have to get real close to the black line and I can color in faster. And I just come, and I still go a little bit slower when I get close to the edge. I'll go a little slower. 
And so there. Starting to get some colors here. Ooh, and I have some stripes, so I'm gonna pick some colors to do my stripes with. So just have fun with that. Go ahead, color yours however you want. If you wanna use markers, use markers. If you wanna use crayons, use crayons, colored pencils, whatever it is you'd like to use. And by all means, use a mix of things. Okay, just have as much fun as you can. And take your time. You don't have to do this all in one sitting. It's a lot of coloring. Like for me to color all of this will be a lot. So I'll probably do some of it now, some of it later, and I'll just it'll just be a project that I kind of keep around and keep coming back to. A project like this is a good project to have around. So if you know you're doing a lot of schoolwork and your brain just starts feeling a little tired or fatigued, this is a project that you can do that'll just kind of relax you a bit. And it helps you just take your mind off work, clear off the um, schoolwork that you're doing. It clears your brain just a little bit and gives you something else to focus on. Um, it's just a relaxing type of art. So when you're at the coloring phase, just do some until you start feeling tired of coloring and then set it aside and come back to it and say, okay, I'm ready to work on this again. And then you work on it again. And then if you're feeling, you know, once you feel tired of doing it, set it aside, come back to it again another time. Okay, this is a really fun one. And it can, there's like no set way that it should turn out, right? These can be any which way. And that's what I love about this project is that they really can come out so many different ways. I'm so excited to see what everyone's different art looks like. So go ahead, have fun with this one. Remember what I said, you don't have to do it all in one sitting. So if you don't finish it today, that's okay. Keep it around. Work on it when you need a break or you need to relax or sometimes when you need to calm down. Something like this is a good thing to work on. So just have fun with it. That's the purpose of this art project is just have fun. Okay, everyone, have fun. See you later.